Good evening, everybody. I am DadBod. Tonight, we're going to quickly go over how to insert custom decals in your map. You know, when you are map making, you know, you've got your tile set in, your gameplay is done, you got some style grounds, and it's starting to look pretty sweet. The one thing that you really want to focus on next, which is like the final touches of decoration, are the decals, whether they're uh, foreground or background decals. And we can see like in the in the core game, there's a lot of different pieces here that, that you can have if you want to kind of spruce up your map, add a little character to it. But sometimes you might just want to make your own and insert your own stuff in here. And I'm going to show you how to do that really quick. So let's get started. Now, for the sake of this video, I have some decals already made courtesy of Nico, who also made the style grounds and who also made the tile set and who will also be making the music. So uh, that's pretty awesome. But you can also make these yourself, whether you want to recolor them. Um, and actually, if it would be useful to you guys, let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see a tutorial on how to recolor some of these and insert them into your maps. This is going to just get you uh, in there with pretty much anything that you make. Make sure it's obviously a transparency.png. And uh, we're going to get going. So here we can see uh, 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 the correct format for how we do these. And we can see we have a couple rocks, a couple uh, different types of grass, some vegetation. Now what's really important is you want to make sure that the very last uh, thing in the file name is a letter, not a number. That is important if it's just a single uh, non-moving decal. So what we want to do is we're going to take and copy these and we're going to copy them into the folder that we're about to show you here. So dreams in the clouds, as you've seen before, if you've seen the other videos um, for the tile sets, we know that you need to create a graphics folder, capital G, atlases with a capital A, gameplay with a capital G, and you would normally drop your tile sets in here. But in this case, we're going to create a new folder called decals. We're going to open that, create a new folder that is your name. We're going to create a new folder that is the name of your map. And then we are going to drop those decals right in there. Uh, and then keep in mind, if you have multiple chapters in your, um, in your uh, campaign, you just want to have another folder for chapter 1, 2, 3, 4. You could just number it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, however many chapters you have. And by doing that, once we reload Ahorn, you don't really have to do much after that. We can scroll down to here, and then we see that these are now available here in Nico sides, because obviously Nico made these. Uh, and I've added a few already in my map. Now keep in mind, foreground and background decals, it just depends on like where you want this. So if you want Madeline in front, of the decal, you would use a background decal. If you want the decal in front of her, like she's going behind it, you would keep that in the foreground. Most of the time, when it's stuff that I'm like placing on the ground, I always keep it uh, in the background so Maddie walks in front of it. But that is totally up to you. It depends on what you want. And then you can just kind of place these wherever you want. Now keep in mind that sometimes they don't line up all the way like with the grid and you don't want it to be like that. That would look dumb. So if you hold control, you can move your decals at the pixel level and get that in the right spot. It's beautiful. And that's really all we have for tonight. It's a really easy tutorial, but it's something that could really make your map stand out. And I know just a lot of people didn't know how to do it. So that's all we have guys. Let me know what you want to see next down in the comment section below. And if you're not a member of the channel already, you should probably hit that subscribe button. And that's all we got. Until next time, have a great night.